The portal monitor is a collection of three systems that help an elder feel comfortable and secure in their home. This is Mimi's home. Let's look at the first system and how it interacts with it. As you can see, there's a camera lens in the store. The button under it is a doorbell. When this visitor rings the doorbell, the camera in the door takes several pictures of them. These pictures are transmitted over the cellular phone network or by electronic mail. Mimi's daughter, who lives nearby in town, receives these pictures about 30 seconds after they're taken. When she gets the pictures, she's able to tell if she knows and trusts the person who's come to the door. In this case, she recognizes them as a friend of Mimi's. But what if she got this picture instead? She'd know to come over and check on Mimi to make sure this new visitor wasn't causing any trouble. Now, let's move on to the second system, which would normally be connected to the first one. There would be several small computer screens in various rooms around the house, where Mimi likes to spend time, and a larger screen mounted on the back of the door itself. Now, when someone rings the doorbell, these screens come to life and show a live video feed of the person outside the house. Mimi can then see who's at the door without having to come all the way downstairs. Since Mimi has a little trouble with walking, she can also use the built-in intercom system to greet the person at the door or ask who they are. Mimi might even press a button to remotely unlock the door without having to get up at all. The third system is triggered whenever the door opens. It can use the camera in the door and it can also use two other cameras. One mounted inside the door and facing it, and the other mounted outside, also facing the door. When the door opens, all of these cameras take pictures. Mimi's caregiver gets these pictures, again by cellular phone or as an email. If she sees Mimi leaving the house with a friend or letting a relative into the house, she'd know everything is okay but she might again be concerned if she sees an unknown person enter the house, point a strange object at Mimi, or if Mimi leaves the house at an unusual time, such as midnight, or in an unusual state, such as with no umbrella in the rain, or no coat on when it's snowing. All three of these systems that make up the portal monitor are designed to help protect Mimi's safety and help ensure that she can stay in the environment she prefers her home, as long as possible.